Hi, Dr. Milky here, coming to you from northern Wisconsin. I'm on a lake by the name of Buckatobin, about 15 minutes north of Eagle River. My family has a lake home up here, and uh, it's a beautiful uh, October 1st morning that I'm recording this. Uh, it's 38 degrees. It's going to get up to about 67. There's a cranberry festival up here, so we come up here sometimes on that weekend. And uh, you see this beautiful lake in the background. What a gorgeous morning. It's calm as can be. I only see one boat out there, a couple guys fishing. Um, so since I'm on water here or by water here, let me talk about water when it comes to feet and different things that can maybe help get your foot pain, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, other types of foot pain better. So people ask me a lot about ice, right? I mean, so is ice better? Is heat better? Um, in terms of ice, I mean, it can be really good for acute swelling, just getting the swelling down. Um, it doesn't work for everything. It's not necessarily a long-term fix, but certainly if there's a lot of swelling in an area after an injury or a surgery or, you know, different things, ice can be helpful. If somebody has chronic plantar fasciitis, chronic Achilles tendonitis, just chronic pain, ice doesn't seem to be quite as effective. Um, and like, swimming right like what about you know does swimming good for foot problems the answer to that is absolutely it's good because you're not putting pressure on your feet so the flipping you know your feet going up and down not a problem with pretty much any kind of condition certainly if there's any kind of open wound or an incision or something like that that's trying to heal not a good idea to do that until that's closed uh, but in general i mean swimming or water aerobics because the water is going to absorb the shock so it's not going to be hard on your feet so that one's perfectly okay. What about just like, you know, soaking in a foot bath and, you know, using water that way? Again, you know, nothing bad about that. It can be helpful. It might not do anything for you, but certainly uh, such a simple thing to try. And um, in most cases, it's not going to cause any trouble. So you can certainly do that. You know, you don't want to soak constantly because it dr does dry your feet out. Uh, but sometimes water therapy can be effective. So, you know, water can be a good thing for um, helping to heal a problem. Certainly not the primary thing that we do, just kind of a supplement to other things. So uh, happy October, and we'll see you next time.